Now that we have learned about the state of components, there's another thing I have to add due to that. Our home component here uses the state in several places, here in the set timeout function and here in the on make older method when we click the button. The header component doesn't use state. It's a component where the state never changes. For such components, we can create them in a different way, in a more efficient way, efficient seen from a performance standpoint. So since this is a component without state, we can create it as something which is known as a stateless component. That's just a React.js term for a component which, well, only has props, or maybe this component doesn't even have props right now, but only has the chance of getting props. It has no chance of setting its state because it doesn't have a state, because it doesn't need one. Why do we have such components? Well, generally, it's a good practice to use state carefully. To take this even further than using Redux, which is something I'll come to in my next series, you don't use set state at all. Because state management can really get tricky in React.js in more complex applications for sure. And therefore having as many stateless components as possible will make your application perform better and be more man manageable by you. Because changing states in all kinds of components really makes your app unpredictable. And therefore, stateless components are the key to making it more predictable, more testable and perform better again. So if you have a component like this one, which doesn't need the state, well, don't use it. We have to rewrite it though. I'll change class to const. So I'll create a constant which gets exported. And then of course, I will no longer have my extends keyword here. Instead, I have to assign a value to my constant. And this value will be a fat arrow function, where the input I get by React.js is the props argument here, because props are available in a stateless component. Then this is the function body. Therefore, of course, there is no render function anymore. I'm just returning something now. And I got too many curly braces, so remove one, add a semicolon here. And that is a stateless component. As you saw, it wasn't that difficult to refactor it. It's just a fat arrow function in the end, exported as a constant in this case. You could export it as well a variable, but constant makes sense since I'm not changing this. And that is my stateless component. Now, as we get props, I can also use them and let's say output props.homelink here and then go to my index.js file and pass home link to it and just give this a value of home. Now here I'm passing a string because, well, if I only pass a string, I don't need the curly braces. And back in the application, we see it works as it did before. Nothing changed by the looks of it, but behind the scenes, something changed. The header now is a stateless component and no longer uses the state. And again, remember the reasons I listed a few minutes ago. Really think about refactoring components to stateless components if you don't need the state.